Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today, we're going to be looking at Bromeliad anatomy, and we're going to ask the question, what is a meristem? So you know what, the sun is shining, the island breeze is blowing, it's time that you and I got growing, come on, let's have some fun, and why don't we ask the question, what is a meristem? So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. It's great to have you with us. If you like what you see, could you do me a favor and hit that like button down there? And why do you become a member of our Bromeliad family and become a subscriber? Thanks a lot. Now let's get to today's video. Okay guys, today we're going to be asking the question, what is a meristem? Now look, I know this may end up being quite a snooze, but I think it's really, really important to know the anatomy of our plants. After all, if you know how your plant grows and what it needs, you can grow almost any bromeliad. So why don't we all have an extra cup of coffee so that we don't fall asleep? And why don't we go up on the plant deck? And I'm going to show you what a meristem is and why it's so important to know that. Okay guys, today we're going to be discussing bromeliad anatomy and ask the question, what is a meristem? This is an important subject that I want you to stick around because knowing this will help you grow your bromeliad. Now meristem simply means the growing point of your plant and we have two. One is right here and that's called the apical meristem and that's where all your leaves come out of and then you have the root meristem which is at each of the ends of your roots now with both of those growing points the meristem grows outward from either the roots or from the apical meristem and it's important to know where that meristem is, especially right here in the apical meristem. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the root meristem first. Yes, it's important, but then we're going to concentrate really on the apical meristem. And that's where the growing point is right up here where all of your leaves come out. And we're going to be looking and finding out why that is so important to know exactly where that is. So I'm going to be showing you a little bit of detail, but before we do that, I want you to take a look and you can see right in here, that's where your meristem is going to be. Now we're going to take some close-ups, but before we do that, I'm going to get a little bit closer to the camera and see if I can show you a little bit better. Okay guys, so you can see the roots and the root meristem is going to come out of here. I'm going to try and get a better close-up and right up here is where the meristem is roughly uh, up here now again that's the apical meristem and that's where all of your leaves come out now the meristem grows along with the plant so the meristem let's say a couple months ago was down here and was down there and now it's up here so as the plant grows the meristem grows on up and you get a bigger rosette of leaves. Now, we just had a video on how to determine where to plant your pups, and we talked about the growing point, your apical meristem right here, and where you don't want to bury your plants up to here, because if you do, then what's going to happen is you will get rot. Well, okay, knowing where to plant your bromeliad is really important, and that's why knowing what a meristem is and where that needs to be when you plant it is important. But there's one other thing which is really, really interesting. You know, a lot of our bromeliads are variegated. Now, this is Neoregilia martine, and this is Neoregilia sheba. And the variegation is on the edges on Sheba and in the middle in Martine. Well, if you have a variegated plant, guess where that happens? That happens in the meristem. Now it's called the tunica corpus. That's a nice little scientific name. But in general, there are different layers in your bromeliads meristem and there would be a mutation. And that's where we get some of that really nice variegation that we see. 
So, okay, that's two reasons why we need to know what a meristem is. I hope you're still awake. Now I'm going to do some close-ups. Now, I have to apologize in advance, guys. The close-up that I'm going to do with the root meristem is not that good. I have a basic camera set up, and it doesn't do macro very well, but it's the best that I could do, and I hope it's good enough. But in general, what you're going to see is that the root meristem grows the root, and it grows it from the tip. And it's the very tip of your roots in your bromeliads and also in all other plants. And that's how they take in uh, water and nutrient. So why don't we go do a close-up of that. And then after that, we're going to come and do a close-up of our apical meristem and see if we can do some dissection. Okay, so when we talk about meristems, we actually have two that we're going to be talking about. The first one is the apical meristem. I'm going to do that second because really that is the real place that we need to pay closer attention on our bromeliads. But there is another meristem, and that is right here. And the, right at the very tip of this root right here, right at the very tip is called the root meristem and the root meristem is where uh, the root elongates and it'll come out here the root doesn't grow from this point out it grows from this point out and becomes new root and new meristem as it goes now it's really hard to get a close-up of this i'll try and get in a little closer but it wants to blur um, and I don't have a macro lens, but I think you can see right there, um, there is a root tip right in here. And that root tip is meristematic tissue right there, right there at the end of that root, and right there at the end of this root here. That is a meristem, and that is what is called differentiating tissue. It becomes meristem on one end, and that's this end right here. New meristem comes out as it grows and comes that way, and as it does so, it becomes more and more and more root. So we've cleaned it all up, and um, take a look, and you can see, you can almost see really, really well. Let me get my pencil. This area in here um, is where the meristem is. Now, the meristem again grows out this way and it creates new stem as it goes. So the stem goes out as the meristem does. But you know, it's really hard to get an idea what's in there. So you know what? I think what we're going to do is, why don't we take it apart? and um, see if we can see it a little bit better. Okay guys, we're down on the plant table and I am going to try to take this pup apart and why don't we see if we can look at a meristem in cross section. Now, I haven't tried this. This may end up being a bit of a bust, but I'm gonna give it a good try and let's see what we can find. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to start by cutting this woody part of the stem off. Now, let me go back. Remember that the meristem, even though it's up here, and can you hear it? Hear that solid? Even though the meristem is up here, well, that meristem was down here and was growing, and as it grew, then this part of where the meristem was, the meristem formed all of this and formed all of this in front of it. And as it grew, so did the stem and so did all of the leaves. But I'm gonna cut this part off and then we're going to cut into it and see what we can see in cross section. So in order to do this, we're going to have to take this plant apart and I'm going to have to take all of the leaves off of this pup and then we're going to see if we can cut it in cross section. So that's what I'm going to start to do here. And uh, as usual, you know that we don't do videos where you watch me work. So I'm going to get that done and then we'll come back. 
on camera. Okay, so I took a lot of the leaves off. As you can see, there's not much left. And this is where it gets a little tricky because all of these leaves, see where the leaf bases were, where I took the leaves off, see where it's nice and white? Well, that's older, older, newer, 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 newer part of the meristem, and it can get to be really fragile. So now what I'm going to do is try and cut this uh, in cross section, and I hope that we're going to be able to see uh, what the meristem looks like. And as usual, I really am going to do that off camera. Okay, so this is a cross section, guys, of what uh, the mare stem looks like. And as you can see, there's a little, almost like a dome in cross section. Now, again, it's really, really hard to see. I'm going to bring this up here and I'm going to try and sharpen it when we do the editing. But take a look. See right in here? All of those are brand new leaves and as these leaves uh, get older these leaves will come out this is the middle of the tank if you've ever wondered what that looks like this is what the middle of the tank looks like a cross section there's still a bit of dirt in here and and that's what is in the tank of your bromeliad um, I am going to try to get a better picture by bringing it up We'll see what that looks like, but take a look, guys. Look at all of that. This is where your leaves form. So I'm going to try and color it a little bit better. And well, it's not working so well, but as you can see, let me get that smear off of there. I think that gives a little bit of contrast to it, and I think you can get an idea. Let me get this thing out of the way here. I think you can get an idea as to where your meristem really is in cross section here. So no, this isn't lab quality staining, guys. I don't have a lab here at the tangle up on the plant deck, but I think you can get a better idea with just this basic food coloring um, how your plant really grows. So okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed learning about this part of Vermiliad anatomy. Now look, I know this probably was a bit of a snooze. I hope you stuck around for it. The meristem is a really important part of our plant. And the better we know how our plant grows, the more we can grow our plant and the more fun that we can have. So no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you and I need to keep growing and have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.